the global chip war just took a shocking turn. And this time, China is hitting back hard. In a bold new move, Beijing has banned ASML's machines and taken steps to cut off TSMC, two of the most critical players in the global semiconductor supply chain. The target, the heart of Western tech, and the US plan to contain China's rise. But here's the twist. Instead of slowing China down, this $100 billion tech war might be imploding on Washington itself. How did the US-led chip blockade push China to fight back? Why is this a nightmare for global markets? And why are major tech companies panicking? Let's break down how Trump's chip war just backfired. Big time. The global semiconductor industry is the backbone of everything from smartphones to satellites. And controlling it means controlling the future. That's why over the past few years, the US has gone all in on what many now call the chip war. It started with sanctions on Huawei, expanded to blacklisting Chinese AI firms, and reached a boiling point when Washington began restricting advanced chip exports and the machines that make them. At the center of this war is ASML, a Dutch company that builds the world's most advanced lithography machines. These are crucial for producing cutting-edge chips, especially the 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer ones that power AI defense systems and next-gen computing. The U lobbied hard to block ASML from selling these machines to China, effectively choking its chip development. Then comes TSMC, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, arguably the most important chip maker in the world. The U has tried to pull TSMC closer to its side, building new fabs in Arizona, and restricting TSMC from making advanced chips for Chinese firms like Huawei. All of this was designed to slow down China's tech rise, and for a while it looked like it was working. But now, China is flipping the script. Reports confirm that Beijing has officially banned key ASML equipment, limiting even the most basic tools. At the same time it's cutting down on its reliance on TSMC, launching massive domestic investments, and squeezing foreign firms through regulatory pressure. In short, what started as a US-led effort to isolate China technologically may now be sparking a global supply chain crisis, and a dangerous turn in an already high-stakes economic war. China just made its boldest move yet in the chip war, and it's sending shockwaves through the global tech industry. First, Beijing has banned the sale and use of key ASML machines, including deep ultraviolet, DUV lithography tools, inside critical sectors of its economy. While extreme ultraviolet, EUV machines were already restricted by Dutch and U pressure. This new move shows that China no longer wants to depend even on older generation Western chip making equipment. Instead, it's pushing full speed towards self-reliance no matter the cost. But the bigger blow came with China's actions against TSM. Taiwan's chip-making giant has long walked a tightrope manufacturing for the US while still supplying Chinese tech firms. Now China is reportedly cutting off TSMC from major contracts, moving them instead to domestic manufacturers like SMA Khan, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation and state-funded newcomers. At the same time, China has doubled down on massive state subsidies for its own semiconductor firms building fabs talent pipelines and research ecosystems at record speed. It's also enforcing stricter cybersecurity reviews, licensing hurdles and regulatory blockades against Western suppliers, making it increasingly difficult for companies like Intel, AMD and even TSMC to operate freely inside the Chinese market. In short, China isn't just responding, it's retaliating and it's doing so with long-term strategy. While the West hoped to delay China's rise in chips, Beijing is turning the blockade into a launch pad, cutting out foreign control and building a parallel ecosystem that the US can't easily stop. And the consequences for the global chip supply, potentially catastrophic. When Washington launched its tech crackdown, the goal was simple, block China's rise in advanced semiconductors and protect US national security. But the unintended consequences are now beginning to surface, and they could be massive. First, by banning chip exports and pressuring companies like ASML and TSMC, the US forced China into a corner. But instead of stalling, China chose to accelerate domestic innovation. The result, Chinese firms once dependent on Western technology, are now investing tens of billions into homegrown alternatives, 
Companies like SM are rapidly catching up, even under sanctions. Second, US chipmakers are taking serious financial hit. Intel, Nvidia, Qualcomm, and others have lost access to one of their largest markets, China. In fact, American semiconductor firms earned up to 40% of their global revenue from China. Cutting that off weakens US competitiveness and risks job losses in Silicon Valley. Third, the global supply chain is now under enormous pressure. With China cutting off ASML machines and limiting foreign tech access, we're looking at delays, shortages, and higher costs for electronics around the world, including in the U. And lastly, America's closest allies like Taiwan, the Netherlands, and South Korea are caught in the middle. They're feeling the squeeze between U.S. loyalty and Chinese market access. Bottom line, the U.S. may have lit a fire it can't control. The chip war was meant to isolate China, but it's beginning to isolate America instead. The chip war is no longer just a trade dispute, it's a geopolitical power shift. And what happens next could reshape the entire global tech landscape. First, expect China to double down on building a completely self-sufficient semiconductor ecosystem. With billions in state funding, tech parks and talent development, China is no longer chasing Western approval. It's building its own path. The goal, a future where Chinese chips power Chinese technology free from U.S. interference. Second, global companies will face difficult choices. Firms like ASML, TSMC, Intel and Nvidia will need to decide protect access to the Chinese market or follow U.S. security directives. Many may try to walk the middle line, but that space is shrinking fast. Third, the U.S. is likely to push for tighter export controls and more domestic chip production. But rebuilding an advanced manufacturing base takes years and costs hundreds of billions. Even with Chips Act funding, the U.S. faces workforce shortages and tech gaps that won't be solved overnight. Meanwhile, other players like India, South Korea and the EU are watching closely, looking to fill the vacuum and attract chip investment. But the bigger a permanent fracture in the global tech supply chain creating two competing chip ecosystems, one led by the US and the other by China. The chip war isn't ending, it's entering its most dangerous phase yet. The chip war was supposed to freeze China out, but now, it's the global tech giants feeling the chill. ASML is locked out, TSMC is being pushed aside, and US companies are losing access to a trillion dollar market. What started as strategy is turning into self-inflicted damage. This isn't just a tech story. It's a global power struggle. And it's moving faster than anyone expected. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to Winning Spec USA, and turn on notifications. We go beyond the headlines, cutting through the hype to bring you the real story. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Has the US overplayed its hand in the chip war? Or is this the price of protecting tech supremacy? Stay sharp because this battle is just beginning.